Once again, you have all returned to hear the stories of the investigators who are attempting to save the world. Possibly. We're not quite sure if it's going to get to that point yet. Or maybe it will. Once again, I have with me the following people who will introduce themselves in an entirely random order, as always. Hello, I'm Kleiker, and I'm playing Martin Schmidt, the German. Stribinski Net. Hello, I'm playing Violet Carter. Uh, I'm playing Dr. Daniel Grants. And I'm playing Everett. Does anyone want a summary as to what happened last time? I, I feel the Karazhan Week might, might incite our viewers to be pleased by that. It's not that much Go of ahead. a Karazhan Week, really. I can't even remember what I ate yesterday. But Trust I will. Me, the Karazhan Week is very long. I will refresh you. You had decided after your foray into the uh, basement area of the Hermetic Order of the Silver Twilight's Lodge, you'd gone uh, up from the basement area with somebody in tow who'd been imprisoned there, and then you realised that the door was locked, you ended, you ended up having to go back downstairs to figure stuff out, you got into combat with some uh, people who weren't there before, and nearly killed one of you. You managed to best them. You also managed to uh, get somebody with the key to go down and get ambushed. And uh, it was the uh, newest member of your group who was the one who uh, ended up killing that person. You ended up going back upstairs and ultimately reconnecting with Simon Manningly, who is now a police inspector. You've relayed what you know about stuff. He's relayed what he knows. And you've come to an agreement. You will go into the upper areas of the lodge at some point, giving him an indication of when you're going to go, and while you're doing that, I'm getting ready for it, he's going to have his uh, officers look into the auxiliary um, detachment of the Hermetic Order. So what you're doing now is you're preparing for going back into the lodge, and I take it you have a plan? We do, and I think Strabinsky should be the one to explain it. Okay. Well, first of all, we need a credit rating from Violet. And before all of this, actually, I need luck rolls from all of you. And by credit rating, I think you mean money. Bling bling, sucker. I need luck rolls from you all first. Please do, oh, do me, rolls. Kiko. Oh, no. I will. I will. You roll are my you. lady luck. Kiko, for, for luck my... rolls, I'm happy for you to roll for me because that makes more fun. Yeah. Okay. Don't don't forget to blow on the Kiko to for good luck. Oh, Kik tuna, so, I got a three. You got a three, right? I got 96. <gasps> okay. Uh, Bad fortune will come. Right, let's check the other three. Uh, that is a... Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. That's fine. So, with that out of the way, um, you were going to do a credit rating roll. Yes. One second. Try to quickly bust open the wizard's dice roller. What for? <laughs> Shopping list says Ursus Maritimus. Potentially, yep. if yep. not, lesser variant will do. I think. I think I'm going to be getting uh, two things. Okay. I want to see if I can get a bear, which uh, should be okay. Fairly, fairly easy to get. Um, either surplus from the zoo, or just get one imported somewhere. I'm sure that we can find a bear. Okay. The other thing is I can't remember if I have any dynamite left. You have some. All right, good. Something about dynamite. Anyone need any weapons or ammunition? Because I remember last time there was some question about that. Uh, I have my rifle, I believe. Could we just do a quick weapon check based on what people think they have? Mosin, bayonet, pistol. I got Naked. my pistols. Clank, what you got? Uh, what I got? What? What do you mean? Weapon wise. Oh, weapon wise. Um, I don't actually have anything at the moment, as far as I'm aware. I used to have like some kind of rifle, but I lost it. What what skip, what are you good at? I'm good at rifling. In that case, shooting. let's get him a cheeky rifle. Well, Give we also a, a we also retrieved that massive fucking tranquilizer gun. I like it. So you you have that potentially as well. I'm assuming our weapons sort of unless we explicitly lost them respawn after after downtime. No, they don't. You have to specifically go and get them. Well, we did. Oh, yeah, right. that's that's the thing. Like um. Do not always presume you will always have ready access to guns, is what I'm Actually, saying. Actually, Kiko, something I would be quite interested in getting. Could I get hold of Curari? You'd have to be more... have to explain what that is. Curari is an African poison. 
that's extremely dangerous, nerve toxin. And it was also sort used of as available sedative. in the period. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It you're, was used as a sedative. You're welcome to try. Surgery. You're welcome to oh, try. Good. So we're getting a rifle for Clayker, some curari, and a bear. What okay. a shopping list. Can you uh, give I me a curari that... rifle? Daniel well, will probably be able to get curari. The thing is, because medical. of the track, because we yeah, got the tranquilizer gun. With my, um... My med, my sort of my medical. I mean, in the, in the uh, mash, the Nam War, they use it as a sedative. For, as I said, you're welcome to try. For, I can't guarantee that it so... will be there. No, no, it's it, it's dose dependent. But I was thinking because you mentioned the tranquilizer gun, if you could just load it up with that and then just absolutely murder someone. I mean, <clears throat> sed sedate them, sedate them. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. All right. So do you want three rolls or one roll? Uh, I want three because you you can't it's... shop for all of them at the same time. Fifteen. Uh huh. One. And what? forty-six. One, right. Uh, one I accidentally credit. invested overnight and made a million no, on the stock no, market. No. He, he gets the prize, prize bell bear right. of no, no, the no. circus that happened no, no. to be in town. Yeah. It's like a speaking circus bear. Uh, I accidentally invested in the stock market. Your credit the rating has increased to 66%. Ooh. Because you rolled a one on the skill. You instantly get a chance at improving it. I will tell you the following results. There is no bear available for you. You are informed that had you have come maybe a week ago, there might have been some for you, but somebody bought all of them. Here you go. I'm afraid my only comment to that is I find it barely credible. It would. It, it didn't run away, perhaps. Rifles. At some point. Rifles. You have a. That is the one. You have a ridiculous variety of rifles that you can buy. I will let you know which ones you can get. You could get a hold of. Um, there's 0.22 bolt actions. Jesus. You could get a no. 0.30 uh, lever action. You could get a 0.303 Lien field. A 0.306 bolt action. Uh, like you can nice even get a, you could even get if you wanted a 0.58 Springfield rifle musket. I think the musket might be pushing it a little bit. What what do you feel like, Clayker? your gun well i just want like the largest caliber basically i think because we uh you know we encounter a lot of things that might need big holes in them in that case you're probably looking at a either the lee enfield or the 0. 0.3006 i'm gonna go with the lee enfield i like i, I know All right the then name. put down that you have a 0. 0.303 lee enfield in your inventory wait a 0. 0.303 yes there's a 0. 0.303 I thought, just, I thought you just said the 303 was a different rifle Yes, there's a 303 and a 30 06. Oh, okay, alright. So 0. 0.303 Lee, Lee Enfield. Enfield. I'm going to write this down on your right. couch sheet. Uh, do I have, like, unlimited ammo? You don't have unlimited ammo, but you have a fair amount. What? What is a fair amount? Well, let's find out how many is in a club. Because, I mean, if you just say, like, it's an, it's an undetermined amount... Then you at that point, it's bullets. like, am I ever going to run you out? You have 50 bullets. 50, okay. And I'm going to make a note of that. So that's 50.303 bullets. You have basically, um, you basically have, uh... Oh, uh, can I have a brief AFK? Uh, cat just knocked over a glass in the kitchen. I need okay. to deal with that. You basically have five, um, five, uh, reloads of it. One in, yeah, because ten, 10 shots in the rifle. Yep. Okay. Uh, as for the um, the poison, no, you can't source any of it at present. Disappointing, disappointing. Um, second, I could also do try and get stuff. Yes. Uh, first object would be the crow. That's not hard for you to acquire. Cool. The second object would be a World War One breastplate. A breastplate. Yeah. They, Tren they trench walk. armor, yeah, essentially like trench yes, armor. Yes, yes, that's actually possible for you to get. It's in the uh, it's in the armor section, I believe. Nice. So I'm gonna put in your inventory crowbar. Do you want to roll for the crowbar, or uh, should I just roll for the trench armor? You don't need to roll for either. Actually, they are not okay. that difficult for you to track down. They they're nothing that's like a crowbar. You can get a you can eventually find and and that armor it's it's not illegal or or dubious so. There's probably a bunch oh. floating around from like World One surplus. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. So it's it's not a difficult thing for you to get a hold of. Okay. Just need to find the uh, the point in here where it talks about the armor. Yeah, I'll, I'll put that you've got a uh, World War One surplus armor. 
and a crowbar. Uh, Everett crowbar. Unless you're wearing something particularly bulky or something that hides your uh, your um, general physique, it's not going to be that easy to walk around surreptitiously with it. Yep. But that's not why you got it. No. Gives you can I do a quick shopping as well? What were you looking for? Uh, I want to see if we can get some truth serum, or the uh, the equivalent of, which is uh, sodium pentothal. Well, you're, uh, you're, uh, you're getting it for medical purposes, are you? Essentially, yeah. Uh, it's, something, it's something that you could easily source medically in the 1920s sort of era, quite easily. That's easy enough for you to find, for, for you to source them while they're doing this. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put uh, it on there. You're, I you're, it might be kind of handy. you're feeling like you have an opportunity for that, do you? We never know. You never, you never know when something like we have, we have the ability to interrogate someone, and that could uh, loosen someone's tongue. Okay. Actually, Kiko, can I can I source something else? What are you looking? Because there, there was kind of um, maybe um, Violet can help me with this as well, actually. I want to have a very nice tailored suit and a really snazzy hat. I was about to say that's what Phil needs is a trench coat and a fedora. I think it would be a credit rating from uh, from Violet. All right. <laughs> Ninety four. <laughs> the worst fitting suit. Um. Just the sack. No, no, no. sack. You um. Amazing. You can't seem to get an appointment with the decent tailors. They all oh. seem to be busy with other clients or you're suggesting inconvenient times that don't work for them. You could certainly get a non-snazzy suit and hat. Or I a think snazzy it's just suit anti-German and hat, racism. Or, or, an, or, an ant, or a nice uh, suit and hat that don't quite fit. <laughs> like the like generic sized ones, not ones tailored to your exact... Um, measurements has everyone got everything that they would like well, yeah, yeah. with the exception yeah. of no polar I bears it's not even a slight problem to get a um an overcoat no overcoat is not a problem they are very common yeah exactly in that uh... elephant gun was fixed by strabinsky wasn't it it was yeah excellent thank you strabinsky it was uh, strabinsky was still hurt though he wasn't fully healed, but he's somewhat healed. So is is that a case where we ask uh, the dear doctor to have a look at him? That would take another. I've week. already done that, haven't I? Yeah, but it's um week by week you uh you keep treating. He hasn't he hasn't fully healed yet. He has a maximum. What we're saying is to, to stim him up. Just he like has a maximum of thirteen, and he's okay, currently. I mean, can I do anything? Yeah, before we go into. You'd have to spend another or? week treating him. Oh well, no, that's the thing. So no. Slap him in the back again. <laughs> just like here you go. So we're just waiting for uh, the the water pour catastrophe to uh, be averted. Oh, sorry. No, it's not water pour. The glass shattered all over the floor, Ooh. and that needs to be dealt with. So uh, I'm I'm back. Uh, got okay. The, the Everybody summer. has done all the shopping that they wish to do. Any failures? Uh, couldn't get a bear. Couldn't get a bear. Okay. Couldn't get a bear or a nice suit for Clayco. Which or is really... you couldn't oh. you couldn't source the uh, the poison either. The bear. Um, oh, really, not even from a hospital. Curiosity nope. should be widely used, as I said. Nope, you can't. So, you can't source any surplus. They don't have any to sell you. Okay. The the bear. You were told that had you come a week ago, maybe, but they were all bought. Well, there is an alternative we could try, but uh, maybe. So, what is the I next? I don't know if you want to bother with it. What is the next phase of the plan? Uh, well, if. We watch the place for a bit. Okay. To see to see the coming and goings. Uh, in this time, would I have time to heal a little bit more? Uh, you need a whole week. Ah. Um, healing is done on a week basis, and uh, while you're being like tended to or and the like. Uh, it's your thing. It's your thing. So, you are observing the place. Are you making any effort to do it surreptitiously? I would assume we're uh, working with the police for the observation. Which, and they're surreptitious. Mm. They are. They are suitably yes. But you still need to. Uh, it's still a question to ask. Are you trying to be surreptitious? Because uh, you could be obvious. 
Uh, da, 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 da. Before we do that, once again, Strabinsky had been coming there for two weeks before the other people showed up. Was that what we agreed? Yeah. Thereabouts, yeah. Would he have an Would he have an idea of the comings and goings from that? Uh, from that in the first place. People come, people go. Um, it's pretty. Not that busy during the day. A lot busier during the evening. And okay, weekends so we, are also we'd like, very we'd like busy. We like to keep that in mind and then try and compare that with current going going well, on current, to see if there's anything different. Well, it's certainly different. Um, there's someone on the door now. Bear traps in the yard. No, but there is somebody at the outside at the front door. Um, a few less people coming during the day. Um, sameish number at night. Uh, the one thing I will note is that you see neither um, you see neither Carl Stanford or John Scott at all. You don't see them go in, you don't see them come out. Is there any way we can get some plans or contract the contractors that did the building so we can have an idea of what type of lock and windows are installed so we can maybe do some uh, Get an idea of what we would need to do to. You'd have to know who. Effectively. You'd have to know who worked on it in the first place. City we... halls normally in that in that play, in era caps blueprints and stuff. You can have a look if you like. Also, oh. just have a outside look at the door and the uh, windows. That would be a library can, use if check if whoever's going. Lock. That'll be a library use check to see whooever's going to check the plans. I have. Um, I got some library skills. Give it a go. I can do some library skills. Use them library. I thought we actually did this before. Or you didn't sense. check the um, the actual floor plan though. So I was specifically mm. looking for that. Okay. So make a library use roll then. Forty-eight. Right. Um. You don't actually find anything. And this is something that actually troubles the clerk. Well, sure. In the sense that they're troubled that they can't find it or. They're troubled that there's nothing there at all. So he assumes, or she or she assumes, that there would have been something, but it's gone now? Yes. They, they definitely, well, I... definitely would have but... been something there, they say, but they're not sure why it's not there. Perhaps somebody's took it and is uh, examining it at the moment. But... What about the surrounding property? Is that disappeared as well? No, they're all there. Just not that one. Any log of when it's been altered or checked in in the first place? No. Blank spot or never entered? Uh, no, there was definitely something there. There's a blank spot now. They will look into it for you, they've said. I can't use library use to figure out what might have happened. I assume it's one of those no, things. No, sadly, library use is not the skill for that. Yes. Any idea of the brand and make of the doors and uh, doors and windows? Uh, no specific brand and make for them. The windows and doors are not especially um, durable. They're not barred. Uh, the okay, windows so are not they're, barred. So they're sort of they're sort of a basic lock. As far as in, you can in see. In which case, Jabinski would like to have a look at such a basic lock outside the thing to see if there's anything he could do to it that would make it not be lockable anymore, like gum up the mechanism by shoving okay. some stuff in it. Just quickly, you told us that the top floor was darkened before. Was that because of curtains or shutters? Curtains. Cool. It it's curtains for our plan. So you're going, Thanks. you're going basically into the grounds and then around the back. Uh, not yet, I think. But that would be how you'd have to do it. Uh, where uh, for the, uh, the, 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 the you. you... Gave us a floor plan that I'm going to put on the stream in a second. Where yeah. would the fire escape be going up in this? Because it's not marked on there. It's not marked on there, no. You would be looking at by the kitchen. Okay. It's, so currently, it's, pulled, kitchen it's currently pulled up. It's a oh, ladder. It's one of those, okay. Yeah, it's a ladder and it's currently pulled up. Uh, okay. So you big, you'd big have jump, to activate can we it. Can we break? Hmm? What was that? Rib, uh, uh, a reasonable jump to make, or could we just bring a ladder into the grounds with us? You'd have to bring a ladder. Okay. Which would so kind of... Missed. It's not boostable, right? You couldn't, you couldn't be boosted up by a friend? It's, um, the ladder itself is, is, is one that's actually, like, on the, um, the fire, the bit that you walk out on. The ladder isn't, like, connected there, and you pull it down. You'd have to first place it in there, and then pull it down, so it's, like, flat. 
So you'd have to basically boost the entire way up to that floor. Ah. So you would need a ladder. Or a lot of boxes. But it being close to the kitchen means that it's fairly close to the stairs up as well? Inside? No, because the stairs up are actually on the opposite side. You, The stairs that are by the kitchen are ah, the stairs down. The stairs up are in the, by the foyer. Okay. So you're... I understand. Right, so what's the plan now? You've got all that information, or not information, which actually can be information in itself. Kiko going full philosophical right now. Schmidt's mind just blown. As a wise man once said, you know what? The wise man knows what he doesn't know. <gasps> so what what are you doing now that you've done like a, a day or so of a day or two or so of keeping an eye on it or Well how... the plan was to send Strabinsky in or have we decided that that is uh, too risky at this point? Well I mean why why would it be risky? Well the, with the new goings on uh there might be heightened security. Were they st were they still taking in new prospects in the sort of group thingy way they did before, or it's do we need a longer the time to see that? It's not the weekend ah. yet. You'd have to wait until then. It's currently do Thursday. Do we want to risk that? Wait a week, hint, hint. Uh, group fight? Wait a week? Question mark? Is there any doubt as to waiting a week? You don't know. Well, I'd heal. Well, I think, I think <laughs> the arc... The, 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 the hypothetical trade-off would be that they get to do more of whatever they're doing, right? Because they're doing stuff. So the question is, are we happy with them getting away with whatever they're doing for another week? And given well, we that know they're kidnapping people and potentially hurting them. Exactly, I mean, and we also that, know that, that sense sooner rather than later is probably better, surely. Yeah. Uh, then... Also, on a side note, do you have an extra power, Violet? Of course you do. Uh, I can always get one. Perhaps Rent one. one. We want the other one out of town. If since they saw it, did All you right. see them seeing it? Yeah, you saw them seeing it. Okay, so a suspicious car cannot be manned by Algernon. Maybe get him a mustache and a straw hat or something. <laughs> All right, I, I, I can I can rent a car and get a backup hat. Good okay. man. So, are you waiting or are you going ahead? We should maybe wait. Be safe. It's up, to you. it's up to you lot. I'm biased with my gaping chest wound. <laughs> yeah, also chest wound actually is a... Yeah, it's that, not as yeah. bad as it was, but it's still not right. Uh, amazing. But I mean, like, us waiting potentially means people might die. It's, it's a bit shocking. I mean, technically, not waiting might mean person dear to us might die. <laughs> well, I mean, dear is a strong term. What, um, what, what do the police say? Do they care? They're waiting on you at this point, because you're the ones that are going in while they're doing the investigations with the auxiliary. Well, I mean, they don't seem to have any other way in, so if we're watching the place in the week, we would know if, if new people went in unwillingly. So, tech... Nothing technically. They've seen no nothing. One be they've seen nothing suspicious in the nights, because um, they've had somebody there watching it during the night and the uh, the uh, small hours of the morning, and nothing suspicious by the looks of it. There's been nobody uh, being like smuggled in or. Yeah, I mean, part of the problem is that they operate obviously underground, or they have some kind of way of teleporting in and out as well, or at least they have previously. So it would be it would be surprising, if, especially the high level guys who are a little bit weird, Eldritch anyway. We're just wandering it out by the front door, being like, sup, boys? Well, the weird thing is that the uh, Orson Scott card uh, teleported in while we also saw him upstairs. So the teleporter might be short range or there might be more of him. Yeah, well, I mean, there could be more of him. <laughs> we, we know that he's probably constructed. Hmm. So are you waiting or are you going Shall in? Shall we send me in, in in the downtime? to do some work. I'd like to do some roles for that rather than do a solo Lehman adventure so that we can all go in together. Right, you're um, going to do roles. What kind of roles are we doing? I, I don't know. I mean, he's... Well, what he's are you planning try... on... Plan tell me what you're going to do, and I'll let you know what you need to do. 
Well, he's going to, first of all, go in there, try and explain that he was not one of the things, if confronted, that had to do with the, the shittery that happened that night he was there. Right. And then he would like to try and go to one of the windows and maybe stick something in the lock so it doesn't lock anymore. So I have a question to ask you. Yes. What are you going to do if you're rumbled? Uh, that's a good question. I will likely be captured, so if I don't come out, come in. Okay. The following night. Pocket sand. Right, so, Stravinsky decides to go in on one of the evening uh, days. It's Friday at this point. Wait, if we wait the week to be sealed up, then? I, need, I, I, need I, that, eh? I didn't think you had. Had you? I thought we, we decided that people would die if that happened. Yeah. yeah. So oh, you right, decided so, to go in. Right, okay. Well, I left it up to you because I'm biased. So, okay. It's Strabin also more dramatic if we don't wait. The next day, Strabin the next <laughs> night, you. Stravinsky goes in and says, "Look, if I don't come back, if I don't come out, go in when you can, and look for me." Okay. Yeah. He also he also explains which windows he's going to try in which order, so that they know that if he succeeds, which ones are you going captured? to? Which ones are you going to try? Uh, what, what well, rules? I mean, it would probably be easiest to maybe if there's a window in the restroom dining room or the bar he would try those first bar and because... dining room restroom doesn't have a window okay those first because those are the ones he has access to after that he might if he doesn't succeed any of those he might try for the window by the fire escape or gumming up the kitchen door but uh or the, the door leading out uh, by the stairs in the back near the kitchen okay uh, yeah, but not not at the cost of. If he thinks that he's been he's been uh, what's it called blown? No, that's rumbled. Not, that's the, yeah, okay. rumbled. Yes, he, he will he will uh, make a swift exit. Okay, what I will I will do what's going to happen here. I will. It's not going to be long. Uh, Stravinsky, you decide to go in. There's a guy on the the outside. He sees you. Doesn't seem to bat an eyelid about you being there. You you've been there a number of times before. You can hear the conversation and the talking and the merriment, and as soon as you step th over the threshold, the place is completely devoid of people and silent. Aha, spell of uh, compulsory cavorting. The door is also shut. Uh, to the uh, lounge? Out outside. Oh. But there's nobody here. Step into a, so you're going to a pocket to, dimension. You're going to do what you were gonna do. Uh, I mean, sure. Uh, anything else would be suspicious. Okay. Going in, t t all timid, like seems like you're up to no good. Right. So you're gonna go and check the dining room mm, and, the, and the bar. He's gonna try and do his usual routine, so nothing seems out of out of place. You, you are doing this talk to the people, normal though. routine with nobody here. You need to be careful because you don't want to start trouble in this neighborhood. He's definitely got to make sure the bar is stocked. I think that's key. Like. Could also just go out and ask the doorman, where's everyone? I assume the door's locked behind them, though. Just don't get it and You fight. reach for the handle, and then you realize, what handle? <laughs> there is no handle for the door anymore. Is this well, where Rufus gets scared? No, this was sort of expected, but... Uh, ah, I see. Stravinsky has been through worse. There's also no handles for the reception door, or the coat room. Would you say he knows how to handle this situation? Has the Lady <laughs> of Pain perhaps appeared and cast maze on me? Am the door, I maze? The Am door I to the lounge the is open. Well, oh, that's alright then. That, this is not unusual. Hey, Lord, go come in, I hope. The only doors that are available for you to go into are the dining room and the bar. Is there perhaps an occult or mythos role uh, involved in this? You can make a mythos role if you like. Do me. <laughs> You've no idea what's going on here. But it's really creepy. Like Is the, it creepier than other things he's experienced before? This is odd, because all signs point towards this place being in use. The fire is roaring, there are drinks, there are books that are open on the tables, and but there's nobody here. It's as if there were people here, and yet as soon as you step through, they just are gone. Hmm... The books and stuff they were using, are they moving? Nope. Nothing's moving. Except the mm. fire. The fire's moving. And it's still radating right. warmth, and my lights are on. I'll try to 
try to toss some paper in the fire to see if it burns. Yep, burns. Hmm. I'll attempt to knock on the door. Which door? Uh, wherever people would be, bar, dining the room. The bar and the dining room doors are open. Well, that's all right. Did the uh, door to the foyer close behind me? Uh, no, that's still open. That's all right. Uh, would like to say hello. You're just going to say as hello? Yelling. <laughs> hello. Yeah, as in, is anybody there? Knock yes for twice, once for no. What is your name? Is there anybody out there? Oh, my name's Carl Stanford. Nice to meet you. Oh, hello. I mean, hello. You turn round and he's there. <laughs> he's smiling at you. Do I recognize this man? Yeah, he's the uh, the guy that greeted you at the uh, when you the others first came in. Oh, that's right. We know each other then. Kind of. Okay, I uh, I greet him. <laughs> Say hello. It's a strange night for you to be here. Uh, why? Why is this? Well. Not many people come through that door. Uh, <laughs> what, the front door that he usually comes through? Hmm. Quite. I hope you're not up to anything untoward, my friend. It would be well, a shame. Well, if you ask for this, then yes, I won't drink here, here, here. It would be a shame if we were to find out that one of our own was up to something. He stares at him. Puzzled. I'm a little bit puzzled. Why would he? Why would he assume this anyway? Uh, I'm assuming that there are two doors in the foyer, and one leads to a pocket dimension copy of the room, and I was automatically led through that one because of being being a near do well, and I'm actually trapped now. I'm not in the actual lodge. You think it's like a separate character. place? Yes. Uh, he's just looking. He's just looking at you. He's waiting for an answer. Well, he didn't ask a question. He asked, he's like, I hope you're not up to anything untoward, because it would be a shame if that were the case. That, that's rhetorical. It's not yeah, because no one's going to say yes. Yeah, well, I'm shifting. He's waiting okay. for an answer. Stravinsky's just looking at him, wondering what, what he means. He looks at you for a while, and then smiles. Well, Stravinsky smiles back. Pats you on the back and goes, ah, it's, of course you wouldn't, would you? No. I, I thought not. It's... Any word on ball? <laughs> don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. He's anything. been asking about the ball quite a lot. Yeah, d d don't worry about any of that. Just uh, go out, have get some air, and come back in five minutes or so. I'm sure it'll be livelier then. Okay. Savinsky would like to try and look out a window before he goes anywhere. Everything looks absolutely fine outside the window. That's all right. Well... <laughs> I'm assuming that I'm going to get horribly fucked if I walk out the door, so let's do that. You walk out, you I go... I have one other option now, and it's a bit bloody. You walk towards the foyer door, the one leading the one leading out. The handle's there now. That's all right. You're going to open it? Uh, sure. Step out? Uh, well, depending on what I see. Looks all fine to you. Out we go. Out you go, you close the door, the guy's Wait, there. Are there people on the street? Yes. And okay, there's the well, guy well, standing well, outside, well. and as soon as you step out of the door, everything is back as it was before you stepped in. Okay, then. Sanity check, please. Uh, do me. You're remarkably okay about this. <laughs> it's not the worst place I've been teleported no, to. No, it's not the worst place it. you've been teleported to. <laughs> they are not from what you saw very briefly just looking um, at the inner doors at least if they were even shut which they don't have locks most of them they wouldn't be difficult to force down but you didn't get a good look at any hmm. of the windows did Strabinsky go in through one of the other foyer doors than you're, than you're normally let in through no you didn't Okay. but yeah you're, you're fine <laughs> that's okay well I will uh, I'll wait these five minutes and go back in I would, right. I would rather do some rollery, though, so that we can get everyone involved. Okay. If we can speed up a Five bit. minutes later, you go back in, and everything is absolutely normal. That's all right. You go, and it's almost... Proceed with plan. It's almost disconcerting that the whole thing happened there 
maybe it didn't happen at all. Maybe. Hmm. You're distracted. I'm not. Uh, I'm not fooled. You decide to go and check the the uh, windows. The windows are not uh, locked with anything especially difficult. Wouldn't okay, take so, much. So he will sort of unlock it and then take some gummy stuff that he brought and shove in. Doesn't take you so much effort at all completely. to get the bar door. Well, one of the windows in the bar. Like, so you could, with a okay. little bit of force, well, jimmy it open from the outside. Well, uh, sort of done that. Have a little chat with people so I don't seem suspicious yeah. and then fuck off. Okay. Uh, also try and get try and get a bearing off if they have any idea what happened. Uh, the bearing. Previously. They're not talking much about the bear. There's only the occasional <laughs> chuckle of of all oh, that. Not the fucking bear. That... If if they had any inclination of the room being empty before they nope. if they had nope, seemed they'd... like they would have just been in nope. a normal room. All Nothing the time. at all. They are talking exactly as they would any other day. And a guy I met, Orson Scott. No, wait, uh, Carl. He's not Gunther. there. He's not there. Okay, so it was another dimension. Although Stravinsky probably doesn't realize this. Uh, really? That's likely. That's that's likely the mythos role that he failed. I would have thought so, you'd have uh, enough to, to be like quite conversant with extra dimensions. No, well, it's it's on Stravinsky a case by case is, basis. The mythos. <laughs> Stravinsky is a bit simple. It's just it's just me being being a, a cunt knowing about this out of character. So. Uh, well, you yeah. have no uh, idea so, what. Well. well even even with your hunch, I'm not going to say if it's right or not. No, 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 of course not, of course not. Okay, off we go, in, uh, report back to me. After blah, about blah, blah. what you guys see, is you see Stravinsky go in, spend about five minutes in there, then go out again, look around for about five minutes, then go back in for about another 20 minutes, and then he comes out and approaches you. So it's been about half an hour or so, but you did see uh, him he, go he in. Goes, he goes straight home to meet them so that they yeah. will not meet in the street. Yeah, did go... None of that inside stuff. You just go in and then out and then in and then out. But then you reconvene wherever you choose to. I... Mm-hmm. And then... I, re I relay information and then... Everything? ...to the others. Everything. Okay. As, it, as, as he understands it. Anybody that has mythos can roll on it. Ooh, I have mythos. I'd like to fork in my uh, Ooh, my, uh, my knowledge of portals. You've got a two, was that, Daniel? Ro roll for me, Kiko. I've got 5% of mythos. Yeah, and, and is Violet rolling? Yeah, but only 34. So I don't think I hit it. No, and Everett doesn't have any. Right. Doesn't have any mythos. Daniel, <laughs> you wonder if anything that Stravinsky saw in that weird thing was real at all. You don't think that... You think that the moment he stepped into the room, he actually wasn't... It, it wasn't that he wasn't in the room, because he was. It's just that nothing that he saw or interacted with, as in, like, the people, were actually there. Funny, okay. funny thought. Did the piece of paper he burned in the assumed illusion, was that still there when he got in well, to the proper place? it had burned by then. Ah, so, not an illusion. Like, you, you think that by your reckoning of the things that you've read... As, he... as if the piece of paper he took would still... Would that have burned in the illusion, but also when he got back in, would it be gone? Or was it too shuffled around for people being there to notice? People had already shuffled it around by then, because five minutes oh, okay. had gone by since you were out. But your reckoning, uh, Daniel, is that as soon as he stepped in there, he was in some sort of fig... He was he was interacting with some sort of figment, making him believe... The first time or second time? The first time. When he went in when there was nobody there. As in, his mind was being played with. But, so that he wa wasn't seeing things that were there, and possibly was seeing things that weren't there. Okay. That's what were... you think has. That's what you think has happened. Considering what the guy said, by the way, when he went in the specific time of day, any of the other times we've been watching, did anyone ever go in at that particular time? Yes. Okay. By your logic, there, Daniel, you definitely think that they're expecting you. So they, they because of what happened, we think you... we're. 
they yeah. know yeah they know you what's think going on. Okay. that you think that they are a lot they're on to you a lot more than you thought they were might just have been suspicious your only question there comes into your mind daniel is why didn't they kill him i have a question yeah if that's the case how do we know we aren't all going to get moved into that place when we go in the back door or the window you don't you'll have only one way to find out and that's to go in well, I mean, they, they they seem to decide whether or not the door handle would appear or not. So, uh, my my gut feeling is that they figured Stravinsky was they were onto something. They tested him, and uh, he passed. I basically think. Well, could be. Maybe that's why the okay. questions were asked. Yeah, could be. So, could could I do an occult world to figure out if this is some kind of magic or? It would have to be a mythos. A cult, uh, you could do a cult, but you're not. You can try and glean something from it. Well, while, they're, they're, while they're trying to figure things out, I go and acquire a bunch of handkerchiefs and hang them out, hand, hand them out to everyone. Mm-hmm. And I suggest that when we go in, as each of us gets in, we pass a handkerchief out to the next person to show that we've actually got in safely. <laughs> okay. Oh, and if you haven't, then someone's friggin' with you? Yeah, like if, if Rufus goes in. And he hands out a hands out a handkerchief. Then the next person goes in. Next person in. If they don't hand out a handkerchief, then they've been moved to whatever this thing is. Dimension. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. And yeah, uh... it seems to only go one way. The brain thing, because if they could go the other way from the brain thing, they would have instantly known about Stravinsky's stuff. So and... we, we don't. We don't know whether it's a... like. We don't know if it's mental or if it's teleportation or whatever. It the occult. Yeah. The occult. A variety occult of different island? things. Oh yeah. Sure. Sorry, I, I wasn't. Sure. I'm gonna write this. I'll go. Um, sixty-nine. There are Very lots. There are lots number. There are lots of things in a cult, um, like teachings and writings that talk about incantations and things that will play with the mind and various concoctions that you take to see beyond what they believe that humans can normally see. Nothing that would specifically do what Trubinsky has described, though. That seems beyond the remit of the occult. So my conclusion is just that's some real shit. That's some really unusual stuff. So you're going with it. you're going with the handkerchief plan. It's a sound plan. Is there a particular night where you're planning on going in, or a particular time? So wait, they, the the mm. weekend's out because too many people. Um, I mean, I feel like Wednesday night would be a good time, probably. Mm-hmm. Anyone got any thunks? Well, I have Why another plan, but it wins. involves two bears. I have no objections to whichever night we choose. Yeah, sure. Just what, like, why, me... why specifically Wednesday? Why not? No, I mean just because you just said like I think Wednesday night is a, is a good night. Like, is it like just just because it's close? Or... It's the middle of the work week, I suppose. Is Violet's logic? Yeah, it's because it's the. Uh... No one does anything on Wednesdays. It's not close enough to weekends to be affected by weekend events. It's not a Friday. Um, mm. Okay, uh, no, I get it. Uh, yeah. Also, how long does the doorman stay out? When does he leave? Oh, these days, he's not going anywhere. Well, he never rests. There's an alternating cycle of them. There's always okay, one person outside, the, uh, outside there now. Is Wednesday long enough for me to heal? Or... Yes, um, Wednesday is long enough, uh, so um, Daniel can do another medicine roll. Do me, doctor, can't you see I'm burning, burning? Well, we'll never know, though. Roll me, son. I'll roll, then. I'll roll. Ooh, lucky you. Gain three. Oh, nice. That puts me to almost four. Twelve, yes. What okay. a lovely absentee doctor. Yes. I'll explain when he gets back that uh, that's what happened. So, the plan is set, roughly. The time is agreed, vaguely. And you have a plan of action, hopefully. So you're going to wait until Wednesday. Unless anyone has any particular things that are going on before Wednesday... I will advance to Wednesday. Was, Sounds good. The only one thing I would say is that because I got followed last time, I would assume we're all taking care to you know, be fairly careful when we leave the apartment. 
Mm. Yeah, we'll so. be we'll, and we'll sort. keeping an eye out in case we see anyone paying attention to the apartment who isn't the police. Are we? We're not bringing the. Uh, we're making sure not to bring anything suspicious, like the extra salt and shit that we're carrying around. I assume. We're leaving that. Outside. You don't need them to cast um, a resurrection. No, no, but I'm just so to. that if they search us, they won't find stuff from their basement. Yeah, I, I mean, well, I see we're not wandering around with like enormous glass jar, mason jars of like yeah, random. Just, just getting that out of the way now. Search, so just, that'd be GG anyway. Yeah, the only uh, question so is, are we me, bringing the, the keys along? The what? Are we bringing the keys along? Those big keys you found in the basement areas. Oh, it could be wise. We didn't. We didn't find all the uses for every single key. Cut, yeah. Cut hurt. Keys worth having. Okay. Can we get copies made of them before we go in? Two I mean, copies. Yeah, they're basic ass keys. You can get a random dude to cut them. They are very big keys. Do we need copies or? Well, it's just if they're taken from us. Uh, we can always just do the imprint in some soap like a fucking villain and just in case we lose them somehow and need them later. So we you have can backup. imprint them in soap if you like. Just if, in case. If you want, yeah, why not? So, okay, done. You're letting Manningly know that you're going in on Wednesday. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, Wednesday in the early hours. Two or, two two a.m. or three a.m. Which should be the cooler? Three a.m. Which hour? Three a.m. Okay. So it's about five. To I assume three. I assume Dorman's gone at this point. No. Ah. It's five to three. It's you lot. Manningly is a bit behind, and he's got five officers with him. He's waiting on. He'll be waiting on your signal. He's uh, given you a signal mirror. And it said from any window, as long as you can see the street he's at, and you you shine the signal mirror out. And if he catches the reflection, he'll know to come in. Alternately, shoot out a window. Yes, if he uh, he does remind you that if uh, if things, as he says, uh, go wrong very badly and loudly, he will also go in, signal if, or not. If he brought. Five officers? I can get four of them in if he gives me the fifth. No, he wants to wait on you. Your signal. Mm. He's not He's not getting anyone in until then. He doesn't want me to sacrifice an officer to teleport to everything. No, funnily enough, he, he's waiting on oh. your signal. The only problem, of course, is that there is still one guy outside by the door. Uh, this place was boxed in by other buildings, right? And uh, it's it had got... a garden... It's got a garden area. It's got a fence around around the thing as well. Um, you'd have to climb over that. Um, spot hidden, anybody that's here. Do me. Mm -hmm. Which is all also, of us. also, listen, please. So, sorry, that is everybody. What do you Everyone mean? who's here and presumably all here, so. Yeah, just do me what you're doing. Okay. Yeah, I got, I got 84. Right. Um, Strabinsky and Schmidt both mm. noticed that the guard is armed okay he's, got a, he's got a pistol That's like right. visible yes like visible okay it's not a very big pistol you note but it is a pistol is it the same so as the um infer the size of the penis. Penis. I got shot the guy with no it's not this is a um it's very small it's not a it's not a big gun at all You're probably thinking um, Schmidt thinks it's a point two two. Okay. So like a little piss. Yeah, it's very small. Yeah. Enough. Well, yeah, definitely enough to skip to uh, ward somebody off who's uh. Yeah. Well, I know. At least we know that he's armed, so we have to keep an eye on him. So there is a fence, and you know where the entrances are. You also know that there is a um. The that one of the windows is uh you should be able to get open. Uh, can we approach from one of the other sides? You so could approach get past the dude. If you approach from the back, in theory, he might not notice you. Can we check for wards and shit on the fence before we climb it? Anything obvious carved into any of the posts? Anything spooky? Please don't uh, check for shit on the fence. No, nothing that you can see. Okay. Is, are you climbing over the fence and going to the window? I don't see why not. Okay. 
You're all pretty careful about it. Violet steps over. You're all pretty careful about climbing over the um, the fence and being relatively quiet, I imagine, going to the, the window by the bar. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't think anyone's going to make any noise. We're going to be singing yeah. and clanging all the way through. Well, it would be a good way to get spotted. Oh, who is going to... got this notion. Who's going to, try to... who's going to try and open the window? Who's got Who's got any, like, sneak locksmith, whatever bullshit? Me. I am I am a sneaky man. Sneak hide everything. Do you have locks... Do you have either have the oomph to do it or the locksmithing skill? Wait, the what to do it? There's a, uh, there's a lockpicking skill. No, no, you, you said the what in the lock things go? As in, um, the strength. Oh, uh, I have strength 15, which I believe is And we also have a crowbar. High. Wouldn't the, uh, wind... I, yeah. Could we not test oh, if the window uh, is so, Sorry, locked? I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. You do not test uh, what? If the window was locked. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, if you, if you can't, you're going to try and open it? Well, just quickly. Mm -hmm. So we're on... You are currently by the, the bar. The south side of the building, mm -hmm. assuming that north the, is north. The guard is on the east. Is on the, the east foyer. by the foyer doors. Okay. And he has so not... do we want to, for example, have someone get closer to the southeast corner so they can know if the guard comes starts coming to check on us? Ooh, I'll do that. You have noticed that Possib when you possibly when you, the sneakiest person. You have noticed that when you have been watching. <gasps> I do. So you know you have been noticed that the guy has never left the door. Also. Be aware Except when replaced possible, by... possible okay, sorry, I'm back. In the yard. Yeah. When, when that, he's that's... been replaced, it's just somebody coming out from Someone the foyer door and then, so, and then him going back in. It's never been patrolling around. They're always just at the door. Yeah. Uh, did you need me to do something now? Well, you're sorry, either I was suggesting that you yeah. go to the southeast corner and make sure that the guard doesn't come to us because you're the sneakiest. Oh, so you want, you want me to like, hide <laughs> at the corner to keep... Hide at the corner and have a look around. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, okay, sounds, sounds like a good idea to me. I can do that. In that case, uh, from Schmidt, I will just need a, uh, a sneak and a hide roll. Do you want me to do them? Uh, yes, please. Always okay. do my rolls, yeah, yeah. As you are approaching, you stumble. Bear trap. No, nope, I you, stumble. You just stumble over some, like, um, some loose paving. Oh, okay. And you, at the moment you freeze because you think, oh, he's going to notice it's going to be bad because you're right by the corner. But when you decide to just listen and have a very quick look around, he's not noticed in the least. Oh, well, that's good. He's not moving. So you, you, can, you, can, you can easily keep your eyes on him as the others try to get into the, uh, the lodge. Hmm. Uh, should we just check if the window's locked, and if it's not, then we move to okay. possibly the fire escape, because if we have to force something, we just... might as well do it on the floor we're intending to go to. You had a conversation with one of these front door men, didn't you? I think I did. Okay. Ben can't remember, it's too delirious. Well, no, I mean, we, we skipped over it, so I'm, I'm asking Kiko. Wasn't a especially riveting conversation. But he was capable of talking to you, at least. Yeah. It wasn't, like, obviously something gribbly. No, just, just a person. <laughs> me. Well, I mean, Orson Scott Card didn't seem weird when... when <laughs> I don't know who you're before. talking about here. <laughs> right, uh, okay. You yeah, have yeah, you yeah, met I John Scott and you. Carl Stamford. Oh, sorry, yes. Uh, the, the guy who... <laughs> no, I, I am interested about this Orson Scott Card person. Uh, d don't be, he... Orson Scott Card, no, please, don't do not do it. First book is okay, but please. I am, I'm joking, do not worry. Yeah, so Rufus checking the window. Yeah, just to see if it's open. It doesn't Boy. take much effort um, to ye for the uh, thing to open. Your uh, your work in um, gumming up the lock and keeping it from locking properly has worked fine. The window opens. Very it's, fine. It would not be difficult to climb in. There, you can see nobody in the bar. The light's out. Light is out. Noise. Do you guys want to go in? Yeah. Uh, who's going first? Schmidt first. Schmidt. Uh, uh, Schmidt holding the corner. I, the was, corner. Was, I, should... I thought I'm the lookout. He's the lookout. Oh, but I thought, but I thought, I thought he'd ascertained there was no movement. He can come back if he likes, but at the moment he's at the corner of the uh, the building. I suggest we go in with one person, and since Strabinski is the selflessest man, he goes in, closes the window briefly, sees if he gets fucked, and then opens it again for safety with other people. 
after he's tested this. Okay. You go in. Objections? Anyone? No, it sounds reasonable. No, right. oh, thank you. you. Throw the Russian through the window. You climb in. You close the window. You wait a little while. It's very quiet in here. I can still not, see them outside, I assume, yeah, from the window. Not the same kind of quiet as the last time you went in and everything went a bit peculiar. It's it's, it's more of a a natural quiet rather than a an utter okay. stillness. Eventually you open the window and uh, you do the handkerchief thing, I imagine. You pass a handkerchief over to the next person, yes? Oh, seems safe, yes. You pass a handkerchief over. So, the next person going in has now been given a handkerchief. I will probably go in next, because wearing surplus armor, I'd assume I'd need a little bit of help to get up there. Yeah, you need a little bit of assistance climbing. Not much, though. Yeah, um, especially so as not to sort of scrape it over the actual window and make doesn't... a very large amount of noise. Violet lifts you up by the back of the belt. <laughs> doesn't yeah. take doesn't take that much to get you in, and it's just very quiet in here and a bit dark. So, so I, I try and put the handkerchief out. Yep, abs works absolutely Great fine. Great, cool. Next person in. I'll go in next one. Yep. Okay. I'll go in last because I'm still the lookout for, like, anybody hears that. So it's then H Daniel, Hankshift um, to Violet. Is the, is the door to the lounge open or closed? Closed. Closed, okay. Any but light from the keyhole? I was keyhole? about to say, any lights? Yeah. Nope. There, was no, there is no keyhole on this one. This, this door what doesn't have a lock. Uh, yeah, but under the door. Not that you can see. Okay. Under the door. So under then the Violet door. is the next person. Yep. And Violet gets in, and then it's just Schmidt. Do you, don't you mean violent just violent just steps through the window? Um, yeah, okay, I'll um, you know make make sure that the guard hasn't noticed anything. Nope, he's not noticed go anything. Sneak, sneaky, sneaky back to the window and uh, go through. This time you step over the bit of loose paving, mm -hmm. and you get into the the um the building. You are now. Should I uh, close the window behind me? Yes. You are now. No, sorry, I'm asking if I should. Like, guys, should I close the window? Yes, well, probably. Uh, yeah. Maybe close it, but stick a piece of paper underneath it so it's half out, half in. So we have an indication of if you have if a it's piece been of with. paper or something. There's, it's a bar, I'm assuming. Well, we can stick, we've got like a billion, a billion handkerchiefs. One of those. Yes. Okay, I'll put like a handkerchief underneath okay. it so we can see it. You are in the bar. It is a well stocked bar with paneled walls, polished wood floor, th three windows, heavy purple drapes. Any gun under the bar? No. Okay. Doesn't seem like a proper American bar without a shotgun underneath it. Okay, well, uh, I'd like to listen. To I'd like doors. to spot hidden, because I'm very good at that. Right, you're listening, and you're spot hiddening. <laughs> spot hiddening? Okay, you neither hear nor see anything out of the ordinary in this room, from, what you, from where you're standing. Nothing Jared. at the doors, either, in the adjacent rooms. You'd have to, there's the storage room, past the bar, and there is the door leading to the lounge. Both doors are shut. We may have forgotten something. Do we mm. have torches? Um, uh, I'm, I assume so. We were I presumed you brought them with you. Yeah, I'd assume we, I think we reasonably... I will not, be, I will not be unreasonable enough to rob you of torches. I presumed you <laughs> brought some. Yeah, and I mean, given that we know the downstairs area is literally pitch black. Mm. Yeah. So, the door... You know, um, Shabinsky, that the door between the bar and the lounge is not locked. There is no lock on them. There's no lock on the door to the lounge of the foyer either. That's alright. In fact, the only locks you know of are the uh, the locks leading to the doors leading to outside and the um, the ones in the basement. No other locks on on the storage rooms. They have locks. Okay. Well, I suggest we go through the kitchen and work our way to the ladders. Wait, there's a there's a place. There is a stairway you can just go up, you know? Yeah, but the problem is if, well, we want to spend as little time as in the lounge as possible because that's the easiest place for the, if the, the guy needs to If you want to spend as little time outside. in the lounge as possible, you go from the, bar, the lounge to the foyer because you're spending longer going to either the dining room or the kitchen. Well, it's more if the, if the watch changes outside suddenly, or he comes in, uh, he'll walk straight into a room we're in. We, will, we, we can't want get some to the stairs from the foyer. Uh, no, sorry, I, I meant the lounge. Like, well, the problem we, is we, we, you, you don't know where the person will be coming from anyway. No. But there's no door between the foyer and the stairs, is there? 
That's um just because there's no door there, that's because that's just leading to stairs. There is you can just go to the stairs. Uh okay. well I suggest we go to the kitchen and the back place first and unlock the outer doors so we have a way out in case we need it. And then proceed. I seems reasonable. Okay. okay. So you're going to go from the bar to the lounge to the kitchen. Or bar, lounge, right. dining room, kitchen. It's your call. Uh, someone make call. Uh, so. Oh. I mean, the corridor from the lounge is the most direct way to the outside door. Yeah. Oh, are we interested in the upstairs area? That's where you're that's going to. That's for. that's your whole objective is the upstairs area. Good, good. Just making sure. <laughs> oh, my mistake. <laughs> Aye. So, which door are you going to? The one in the lounge or the one in the kitchen? Um, I'm going to the one in the hallway in the lounge. Right. Uh, the rest of you? Uh, let's just do that one. Okay. Yeah. It's not hard to get to that, uh, that one. The lounge, as is before, is it's the informal meeting place. Walls are panelled and the floor carpeted. Scattered around the room are overstuffed chairs, small tables, bearing electric lamps. They're all off. And Can we do a quick check of the bar storage before we go, by the way? Sorry. It was locked. Oh. Any of our keys work? Nope. Okay, never mind. Proceed. And you go down the small corridor, past the lounge to that door. That door is also locked. Uh, doesn't have a, a thingy from the out inside that can open it? Nope, you have to use a key. Well, do we have one? Not one that works. All your keys are too big. Too big and ah. too old. Too big yeah, our too keys old. are all for the downstairs then. Yep, they're all down for the downstairs cells. You don't have a key for this door. Well, it's fine. It's right by the bottom of the stairs, so some dynamite would do it if we're fleeing. So. Should we take the kitchen one then? Mm -hmm. And on we go. You haven't been in the kitchen yet. Uh, well, listen... Any light? No light and no noise. Fuck it. Upstairs. Well, may as well. We're on the clock, aren't we? I mean, the longer we dick around, the. So you're uh, going straight for the foyer and upstairs, or? Uh, the upstairs. Is that the foyer? I thought there's an upstairs by the kitchen as well. You'd have to go. Oh, no, that's, that's from down. the outside. Stairs down. That, that, that's that stairs okay, down. Sorry. Okay, I, I misunderstood. Yeah, the ones that are upstairs are the foyer. That's why I was asking if you were going to the foyer. Okay, I done. Sorry. That's okay. Just checking the back exits isn't bad. So you're going to go to the foyer. Uh, maybe through kitchen and dining room? Yeah, I think through kitchen and dining room if it's... Okay, then I will give brief descriptions of these then. The kitchen has white walls, a red tiled floor, and, all, and the facilities necessary to stage banquets. It would be lit by the two windows in the north wall and electric lights hanging from the ceiling, but those are off. Uh, the back door is not only locked, it's barred. From the inside, oh, nice. so presumably we can unbar it at least. Yeah, but it is also locked. Uh, you go through the dining room briefly. Uh, this, what, this room has painted walls, uh, they're painted an ivory colour, and has a polished wooden floor. The north Such wall decadence. has... The um, north wall has... Hmm? Kiko, I would say we actually do definitely unbar the kitchen okay. um, door. Okay. All right. You unbar the kitchen. It's still locked, though. Yeah, yeah. If uh, um, if Manning Lee needs to actually, you know, shotgun the hinges off and mm. break his way in, then it's a bit easier if it's not okay. barred. The north wall of the dining room has five large windows with white drapes. Uh, electric, uh, electric chandeliers hang from the ceiling. They're off. The room is filled with round dining tables. Each of them have four chairs. Uh... I'm assuming that the windows are of such a nature that, if need be, we could just throw ourselves out them. Yes, it would hurt. No bars. Nope. No, no, no bars, no but it turtle, would hurt. No plexiglass. You said okay. earlier that the, the guard never left his post. Correct. Never, ever left his post. Until the other person switched, yes. Yeah. Right. So in which case, we could, we could honestly just open windows, because he's never going to see them open. Depending oh, on where well, he comes from. If, if he, if he uh, comes from up there and has to go through the dining room, he'll see. Right. Unlock windows then. You know, turn the little uh, yes. switch key thing on it so that they're really easy to open if we need to get out quickly. 
Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So that's in the dining room and the kitchen as we move through. Okay. So you go through that, back to the lounge, back to the foyer. The marble floor and lit by... This one is lit. By beautiful electric chandeliers. The walls are panelled and the doors, like all the doors in the lodge, heavy oak. No one in here, though. To your right... light coming from the reception or reception? Uh, neither the reception, reception rooms have light coming from them, neither the, nor the coat room. No light going from upstairs either. The stairs leading up are on your left. I guess we send straight upstairs. Going upstairs, yeah. right. No particular marching order. It's not important at the moment, unless you want to tell me who's going up first. I think it makes sense to send Schmidt first, given that he's the sneakiest. But okay. And it has all the spots. He does. You can say Schmidt, and then a little bit of a gap, and the rest Spot of us Spot hidden for me, Schmidt. Signaling us to come forward. All right, roll me, my boy. Okay. Um, you think for a brief moment, as you're halfway up the stairs, that you saw movement, but upon reflection, you just think it was a trick of the moonlight on the window. Must have been the wind. You don't see anyone. Well, there's definitely no noise of anyone. Who goes there? You go up the other half of the stairs, and you emerge in a small room. There are three doors leading off. So you come up to the top of the stairs, there is a door to your right, a little further up, a door directly opposite you, right ahead, and a door to your left. I'm assuming no map. As we you do not have a map here, no. Okay. But basically, you're at the top of the stairs. There's a rectangularish room atop, like at the top of the stairs that you're in now. There's a door to your right, a door to your left, and a door right ahead. Well, the right one should be adjacent to the outer wall, so we might as well check that first. The... Is, uh, is the upstairs uh, equally opulent, or is it a more... This sort of... room is just wooden panelled right now. Okay, so we're in the where shit goes down, not keeping um, up appearances. The, if you're, of if, place. Uh, for all, we're above the foyer, right? You're above the foyer. If you turned yeah, left the here, the room to your left oh, would right, be by the wall. Yeah, the left one is the, the right yeah, one. Sorry, would head further around. in. So yeah, so do the left left side first. Want to do the left one first? Does anyone else in agreement? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's not... Okay. Well, with the uh, usual barrage of listening and okay. staring at the doors before, of course. Don't hear or see anything. You open the door. This room is uh, a room that appears to have a selection of things in them that are a little unusual. There's a small table and a chair. That's not the unusual part. The unusual part is the selection of robes and a small book which is just on the table. Selection of robes. Is that a rack with a bunch of robes? And if so, are any missing? There are no. a bunch... Are they similar to the ones we found downstairs? Um... No, like they, are, or something, they? they are not similar to the ones downstairs. They are a sort of lightish purple colour, and quite elegant and fine. The book is open. Obviously. I'm going straight for the book. You're going straight Give for the book? book. What, what, sorry, were there any robes missing on any of the knobs? It looks completely full of robes. Okay, so no, nothing in session currently anywhere. Uh, you look at the book, and um, your eyes light up at the idea of finding an ancient tome, only to see that this looks very dull. So I bad. suspect that this is where they bring all the rich idiots that are giving uh, given a taste of the supposed occult, pull them through facade, milk them for money, and the actual shit goes down downstairs. This this appears to be a, a small book that describes various procedures for bringing people into higher levels of the order specifically right. referring to the uh, neophytes initiates and masters of the order is this some scientology nonsense very disappointing you look um 
you quickly realize by reading this that um, you actually need to turn the robes inside out to see the true ranks for the um, for the robes represent as just seeing purple there means that nobody is uh, sees ranks that they don't belong to as it were you can have a quick look and you see that some of the purple robes when you t when you look at the inside fabric are black some are gray and some are white Black is for neophyte, grey is for initiate, and white is for master. Any I name can, tags? <laughs> no. I can give you a description of the various procedures for uh, initiating people, if you like. Um, I suppose that the real question is, is there, is there anything in there that seems suspect or worthy of significant investigation, or is it just pretty standard? All I will tell you if you want to answer that question is that the candidates are blindfolded, they give a lecture on the noble purposes of the order, they're told they will learn great and mysterious things, and they'll be asked to bind themselves with an oath, but they will not be asked to do anything that's immoral or embarrassing. Uh, you're, taught the se you're taught the, the secret handshake. Has Rubinsky heard of any of this? No, you've heard of none many, of this. How many I've heard a lot of this. Okay, that's weird. Other? Not as many as the initiate and neophyte. But you get the feeling that multiple or like three, three or four. Okay. Okay. So my idea here is that this is how they milk people for money, but that's kind of weird because Strabinsky is probably been recruited for other means since he seems to have some knowledge of the occult already. So I assume that's why they tried to get him, but he doesn't have money. I this, assume this is just a milking operation. This room, by the way, has another door. Uh, I would like to take an initiate robe and turn it inside out and wear it. Okay. Uh, does it have windows, by the way, since it's from the outer edge? Uh, this one, uh, does, but the curtains are drawn. 